Hello everyone, it's Meg and welcome to the first vlog for the Mental health -a -thon 2020. I'm so excited to be taking part in the Mental health -a -thon this year as, like I have said in previous videos related to this, that I didn't realise it existed until halfway through May so I didn't really take part last year. But I'm taking part this year and I'm so excited and I'm going to be vlogging my whole experience throughout May. If you guys didn't know what the Mental Health-a-thon is, it is a readathon where you solely read mental health books throughout the entirety of May, as May is a mental health awareness month. And this readathon it was created and is hosted by Nicole from A Beautiful Chaos of Books. And I'm just so excited to be taking part. Mental health books is some of my favourite sorts of books to read to kind of educate myself on different types of mental health and also find books that I can personally resonate with with my own mental health. So we're doing this first vlog and I don't know whether this is going to be a weekend vlog or I'm going to connect it with the next week because today is Friday, the 1st of May is a Friday so I don't know whether to just do this as a weekend vlog and then have weekly vlogs after that because otherwise the first vlog is probably going to be very very long so might do this as a weekly vlog, a weekend vlog even but you guys will obviously find out by the, when this vlog goes up so yes, I will tell you guys what I am going to be reading over this weekend and the first week of the readathon so the first book that I am going to be reading is Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne and I started this this morning, I am on chapter 3 which is page 26 and this it has representation for OCD which I've only read about once before which is in Turtles All The Way Down by John Green and I'm looking forward to seeing more. I'm getting into Holly's writing already. I haven't read a Holly Bourne book since end of last year I think so it's really nice to be back with her writing and her stories. I know she's going to do an amazing job with this book and it's also one of her earlier works as well. I've read more of her recent works so far so this is kind of like one of her early works so I'm really looking forward to seeing what I think. I know Nicole loves this book and lots of other people do so I'm really looking forward to reading it and even though it is over 400 pages I feel like it is going to be fairly quick to read just because Holly's writing style is very easy to read. And the first audiobook I'm going to start listening to is I Don't Want To Be Quite Crazy which is a memoir by Samantha Schutz. I don't know how to pronounce her last name but this is a memoir that covers anxiety and it is written in verse so I'm very interested to see what I think and this is this audiobook is for the prompt of read a mental health book that is non-fiction and this is for the challenge of read a the oldest mental health book on your TBR so yes I'm very excited to be starting both of these books and this readathon and I'm averaging, I have four physical reads, so I'm averaging on maybe one a week. I think I can do that. I have two bigger books and then the other two books that I have are both under 300 pages. So I feel like it's definitely possible. And then I have two audiobooks as well. So I feel like I should be able to complete all the challenges. I'm not doing all of the challenges. I'm not going to be doing the host pick just because I'm not interested in reading that book and I want to concentrate on the books that I already have. Host pick I may do depending on whether I finish my of the TBR or not, we will see, but yeah. I'm so excited to be taking part this year and vlog the experience and I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs and yeah, I'm just, it's just so exciting. So I'm at, it is around quarter past 11 now and I'm going to go and do some work for the rest of the day. Most of my reading is probably going to be done in the evenings and at weekends because Obviously even though we have more time on our hands at the moment, I want to try and keep a work schedule, whether it's doing work or like doing courses and all that sort of thing. So I'm not going to be doing that much reading during the day, it's mainly going to be weekends, which I'm going to give myself off, or evenings, but I feel like I can still definitely finish roughly one book a week. So yes, so so exciting, so yeah, I'm going to go and do some work and I will update you guys at some point in, in the near future when I have done some more reading. Clearly I am in rather desperate need of a fringe cut now because it is driving me mad. So it is Saturday and I am going to give you guys a little update on my reading because I started Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne last night and I am on page 111 which is chapter 11 and I'm really enjoying this so far. 
Holly just has really lovely writing. I've enjoyed every book that I've read of her so far. I really enjoy the characters. I love our main character Evie and I love Lottie and Amber who are also the two main other main characters and I think they the next two books in this trilogy follow them, like each book follows um, their, one of their perspectives and I'm just enjoying it and I'm really enjoying the representation. I can't personally speak for the OCD representation but I know Holly always does such a good job when it comes to representing different mental illnesses and um, some very difficult topics so I'm really enjoying it and I'm just enjoying the wit and the banter and it's just great. I'm having a great time and there's some things I'm definitely relating to in here as well uh, in regards to my own mental health and kind of my views and stuff and yeah it's just great. I'm really enjoying it. Looking forward to seeing how I get on with it. And then I also started my audiobook yesterday which is I Don't Want To Be Crazy by Samantha Schweitz. Still don't know how to pronounce her last name. And I am on chapter 2 or 7 and I must be about an hour in. This audiobook is three hours long so I must have maybe two hours, a bit less than two hours left. And I am enjoying it. Obviously this is a memoir so I, I'm probably not going to rate this book just for the fact that obviously it's a memoir so it's of somebody's personal experiences and I can relate to Samantha's experiences in this novel so far but I don't know whether it's because it's written in verse or for the fact that I am listening to it a book that's in verse that is only a three hour audiobook but the fact that I feel like the storyline has happened rather quickly I don't know whether that's just because I'm listening to an audiobook for a book in verse instead of reading it but I just feel like everything has come on a bit too quick but then again it, it's somebody's personal experience so I don't know but I'm enjoying it so far I'm looking forward to seeing where the story goes and I do feel for Samantha in this novel about how she has her parents don't fully understand and she's just having a bit of a hard time at college so yeah I'm enjoying it um, I don't have any many more thoughts on this, I don't think I'm going to have masses of thoughts on it to be honest with you by the time I finished it because it's not very long. I just feel like it's, everything is happening a bit fast but then again this is somebody's own personal story so I don't think I can really judge that because obviously they want to include the bits that they want to include but anyway that's the update for my reading and I don't have many plans today, I've just watched the latest episode of Drag Race and now I want to hopefully get some decent chunk of reading done over the next two days and I need to do some writing and just sort out the thumbnail and stuff for a video that's happening or that I'm going to put up tomorrow and I might start editing another video just so then I'm kind of ahead with my editing schedule so then I'm not stressing as much about editing these vlogs but yeah so that's my part at the moment and then I'm going to have a bath this evening which is going to be super fun and I'm very bright. So yeah, I'm probably going to go and f do a few bits and pieces and then I'm going to do some more reading because I read 100 pages in a day which for me is very very good but Holly's writing is just so easy so I feel like I'm going to get through this quite quickly which is good. So yeah, I'm going to go and do something that's kind of productive and I also need to tidy my room and clean my room as well and then hopefully later on I can get to some more reading. Happy Monday everyone! I didn't update you guys yesterday and Sunday because I didn't really do a lot of reading and I didn't have the best day mentally which is like super fun but it's the start of a new week and I'm going to probably carry on the weekend vlog into this vlog and just combine it as one. It might be a little bit longer than usual but you know hope you guys are alright with that and enjoy a slightly longer vlog than usual. I just have to make sure I keep on top of editing it so then it's not a chore to do it on, to get it up on Sunday, but anyway. So like I said, I did do some more reading. I didn't really do much reading yesterday just because I wasn't in the right mind frame to read 
Hearts, but I'm halfway through and my normal yet by Holly Bourne. I've been reading it really fast and I'm now on page 229 which is chapter 25 and I'm just still really enjoying this book. I, I enjoy the characters, I enjoy the friendships, I enjoy the feminism in this and the humour and the storyline and the representation for the OCD even though I don't personally have OCD but like I said previously I've heard there are loads of good things about it and the anxiety rep as well and also the therapy rep. I've read a couple of books in the past where that deal with mental health and deal with the therapy side but I don't think they've ever dealt with it quite as much as this book has. Maybe apart from Turtles All The Way Down I think there's quite a lot of therapy in that as well. Um, representation for that but I'm really enjoying that aspect as well but yeah I'm just really enjoying it overall and it kind of obviously it kind of reminds me of Turtles All The Way Down because they both their books that both deal with OCD but this book also slightly reminds me of Diary of a Confused Feminist by Kate Weston because the characters are similar ages I think our main characters in here are a year older than um, the characters in the other book but just kind of that high school setting especially like a British school setting and just like the characters and like the themes that are in this book just kind of are all very similar so maybe if you like this book maybe check out Diary of a Confused Feminist because so many pe more people need to read that book there is like it needs to be more hyped up because this is bloody brilliant and I've read more listened to a bit more of my audiobook which is I Don't Want to Be Crazy I'm on chapter three so I have just under two hours left I think and I am enjoying it. I started to listen to it yesterday and on Saturday but I put it I'm putting it down for a little bit just because I'm not feeling great and it's not it's not a bad book, it's just obviously it's quite deep and quite hard hitting so I'm going to just leave that audiobook for a while and just listen to podcasts or something and go back to it when I want to because obviously the whole point of this as well is to also put your mental health first whilst we are reading all these sort of books. So it's the start of a new week and I don't have too many exciting plans. I want to try and keep a schedule, like I said, as always. And hopefully I can finish Am I Normal Yet by the end of the week for the fact that I've read half of the book in like two days, which is really good for me. I fully expect that I'm going to finish it by the end of the week, which should be really cool. And hopefully I will be okay to return to my audiobook at some point in the week in the next couple of days as well, which should be really good. But yeah, so today I'm going to try and do a bit of work and we've actually got some materials coming today because we are having our own vegetable patch and I'm so excited. I feel like it's become such a trendy thing, especially with people in my age, like in our like 20s and like early 30s and stuff. I feel like it's something that's become really trendy and we, ha since obviously we have more time on our hands, um, my parents and I are doing creating a vegetable patch so I'll probably be helping build that at some point today and then we, we've already ordered the seeds so there's just something so satisfying about being able to grow your own veg and like have like be able to like cook with it that's the bit I'm most excited about so yeah that's just really exciting just thought I'd tell you that because that's something that I'm really looking forward to today so I think that's all I have to update you on at the moment I don't think there's much else to update you on Nothing very exciting, but hopefully I will be able to get to some more reading later on. I'm hoping that I will finally have the concentration, because I don't really have the concentration to read at the moment. But I am really enjoying this book, and it is quick, so I should be able to finish it fairly soon. And then we will see what I'm going to pick up next after that. But yeah, I'm going to go and have some lunch now in a minute, because it's nearly lunchtime. And then I think I'm going to do some writing, and then I will catch you guys in a bit. Hello and happy Wednesday. So I didn't update you guys yesterday because I was outside pretty much all day yesterday. I didn't really do a lot of reading because me and my parents made a vegetable patch and you guys might have seen it on my Twitter. If not, I will put a picture up somewhere. But we spent basically all day doing that as I've been wanting to do a veg patch for a while and since obviously we have a bit more time on our hands we decided to do one in a spare space that we had at the front of the house just it was bare so we thought we'd do some veggie patches and we're very pleased how we've done it and we actually sowed some of the seeds today like we've got so many like veg it's so exciting we've planted some squash today 
and some beans as well and we've got a few other plants like courgettes and beetroot coming as like little plants and it's just so exciting I'm really looking forward to it because like I'm living my vegetable patch like sustainable fantasy in real life and on Animal Crossing like I am loving that so much but anyway and I also had a video like chat like quiz for one of my friends birthdays yesterday as well which was really nice but I haven't done masses of reading but I've done a little bit more um since I last updated you guys so I am over halfway through now I am on chapter 30 which is page 272 and I'm just still really enjoying this book to be honest with you it's very quick read I'm always engaged with it I like the representation for the mental illnesses in this book and the only downside I have to this, I think it's just because I'm an older reader reading this book because this book is about 16 year olds who are in their first year of college and I'm not 16, I'm in my early 20s now and there's romance in this book and I find the romance slightly tedious. I understand the purpose of it and the purpose of it for our main character and why she wants to have a boyfriend so badly, I totally understand that but I just, because it's the sort of romance that's written for a 16 year old that I'm not a massive fan of that it's just kind of like, it's a bit, a little bit juvenile but at the same time I, t I, re I understand why romance is like what it is and why our main character is acting like that, I understand like the point of it in the story but I feel it just because obviously this book is written for like 16, 17, 18 year olds and I'm not that age anymore so that's probably why I don't love the romances because I don't really know where it's going to end up and also just because there's somebody Easter I just... <laughs> anyway, that's kind of understand, that's my little thoughts on that, that's like the only downside but apart from that I'm just really enjoying this book, I should be able to finish it by the end of the week I, like I said, I I have been in, actually, in, I am actually in the mood to read today, I haven't been over the past few days, but hopefully I can get some reading done at some point today, which will be really good. And I haven't made more, any more progress on my audiobook yet, I don't know if I'm going to return to it yet, just because, like, yesterday and so far today, I have been okay, and I don't want that audiobook to trigger me. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's, like, super triggering, it's just because it's quite deep well not deep but like you know what I mean <laughs> I can't describe it it's very a bit more serious and deeper I guess to a certain extent so yeah so that's up with my audiobook I might pick it up at some point later or I can always pick up my other audiobook if I want to I guess uh, and see what I think about that but I had a little bit of book mail yesterday and I've already unboxed it and it is the poetry toolkit the essential guide for studying poetry by Ryan Williams, I have no idea how to pronounce her first name, that's really bad of me, but this is a poetry writing book, it's a textbook on writing poetry basically, and I actually thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this, I thought it would be like A4 classic textbook size, but it's not, and I'm actually really glad because it means it's a lot more portable, and I have been, there is a first and second edition of this book, and I've wanted the second edition for ages, uh, but then I discovered there was a third edition, and I thought that since I was going to get one I might as well get the latest edition and I've just had my eye on it for ages I really want to try and study poetry more and kind of learn what the more technical aspects of it because I want to take it more seriously I have another book as well which I might have mentioned earlier I, I unboxed it in a previous vlog which will be up before this vlog I think um, which is called like 52 ways of looking at a poem um, by, I can't remember, she Ruth somebody, but I got two books so I'm very excited to be diving into this. I'm going to be reading this slowly but surely throughout the coming months and seeing what I think and learning more. So yeah, that's my little um, haul for you guys. So yeah, so that's my little update. I don't 100% know what I'm going to do today. I need to upload a video for today and do a thumbnail for it. I want to do reading. I want to try and do a bit of work. I think today is like, I have days. I've tried to set days for different things to study, if you see what I mean. So today is meant to be a writing day. So 
I think I might start reading this book and doing a another poetry workshop on Skillshare or something like that and that's kind of my plan for today so yeah I think it's nearly lunchtime now so I think I'm gonna have some lunch and then do some yoga and then maybe start a book or get on with some writing and yeah that's my not very exciting plan for the day so it is now Friday and I have almost finished my first book which is Emma Normal Yet and I have around 60 pages roughly, like I only have like that little bit left and I'm still really enjoying it. We are kind of getting to more of like the climax of the book. I feel like the climax is going to be obviously towards the end of the book. I feel like this is going to be a bit like uh, We Are All Lemons and Snowflakes, like that kind of ending. Um, so yeah, I am still enjoying it and there's a bit now, like the kind of bit that's happening and also the kind of something that was in a previous chapter that I recently read kind of about the relationship, it kind of brings more light to it if you see what I mean because basically obviously the romance and stuff and like I said before it's because and even in the Spinster Club when they were talking about it they're talking about how about relationships and kind of all that sort of thing and how Evie is talking or thinking to herself about how she just wants a relationship because she wants to be normal and this guy guy is messing her about and she doesn't know what is normal in a relationship she, she just likes that he likes her not the fact that he is going hot and cold and treating her like trash which really really annoys me so yeah, there's just kind of a bit more light on that and kind of the their kind of thinking about it. I'm not explaining this very well. I kind of, I know what I think. I just can't put it into words for some reason, but I am enjoying it. I definitely want to try and finish this today. I feel like I could, I probably can do if I really wanted to. So I'm going to try and finish this today, which will mean I complete the first book of the readathon, which is very exciting. I still haven't made any more progress with my audiobook. I think I might try my other audiobook, which is a tragic kind of wonderful. I think I might try that at some point over the next few days. We will see. But yeah, so that's all my reading update. And it is like around one o'clock ish at the moment. I've not had like the most exciting day. Neither yesterday I've been writing. I had a shower earlier and something that I did yesterday. Um, which people probably won't know, but if you saw my um, Twitter you will have seen. I did a bit of drawing yesterday and I used to draw a lot as a child and then obviously when I came to high school I lost a lot of my creative um, endeavours and that sort of thing and kind of lost interest, but I have a sketchbook and I draw literally once in a blue moon. I hardly ever draw, but you probably can't see this. I did some drawings. They're not like amazing they are copied from other people's artwork because that's how I like to do my art or at the moment at any rate I don't really do it often enough to have my own style but because like there's portraits and stuff like that in here but yeah I did that yesterday and it was really fun might do a bit more drawing again today but this is Friday and today is like my day where I kind of work on myself if you see what I mean, like self-development stuff, so I am going to do a class on Skillshare. I keep talking about Skillshare a lot, I'm definitely not sponsored by them. I wouldn't be mad if I was though, but I, because like I said, I've got, I'm doing a two month free thing so I might as well make the most of it, so I'm just doing a lot of classes on there at the moment and obviously I've got more time to do them, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm doing one that's kind of related to self-sabotage, which sounds very appropriate for me, so I think I'm going to go and do that now for a bit and I'm meant to be doing a video call with Kira and Emily so which would be really nice we haven't done that in a couple of weeks so that'd be really cool we can catch up and talk about what we're reading and all that sort of thing so yeah I'm gonna go and do something productive now go and start doing that course and then get a cup of tea and chat with Em and Kira in a little bit so it is a little bit later on now and I have finished my first read for the readathon which is Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne and I really enjoyed this book. 
it was a quick read. I love Holly's writing. I really enjoyed the story and the representation. I really enjoyed everything about it. And it was just another eye-opening book because I get I don't know a lot about OCD. The only book I've ever read about OCD is Turtles All the Way Down, which I have mentioned previously. But this was just really insightful and I was always engaged with it. Holly's books are just great. I feel like I'm just going to enjoy whatever she writes. I haven't been disappointed by her work yet. And yeah, I just really enjoyed it. I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. I Technically I could give it 5 stars, I don't really have much faults. But I just doesn't quite feel like a 5 star read to me. It probably would have been when I was younger. Uh, mainly because this is meant for a slightly younger audience but I think it's universal in the topic of obviously mental health and stuff but I really really enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to picking up the rest of the trilogy and I probably won't pick them up this month just because I don't think those other two books deal with mental health they kind of deal more with like feminism and like relationships and stuff like that so I'll probably pick them up over the summer which I'm very looking forward to reading when I want like a nice quick read but I'm very happy that I have finally finished my first book for this readathon and uh, off to a good start because I like I said I really really enjoyed it and I also really enjoyed some of the discussions about feminism in here that they have in the uh, feminist club that's I've only really tabbed it a little bit this book but I just kind of tap my favourite bits and I really love like the speeches and like the little monologue bits of them discussing the topics about feminism, especially the bit towards the end that Evie did in like the last five pages or something like that because it's sort of relevant to my dissertation that I did at uni so um, you'll know which bit I'm talking about if you've read this book but I just really enjoyed it, it was great and fun it was obviously quite deep and intense at times but it still had that humor that holly has throughout all of her books so yes really really enjoyed this and like i said i cannot wait to continue with the rest of the trilogy so i finished that book a couple of hours ago and i had a little bit of a break watched a bit of book a bit of youtube and the next book i'm going to pick up is all the things we never said by yasmin rahim which covers the challenge for read the newest book on your TBR that is about mental health and I don't know if this is like absolutely the newest but it's one that I've been saving for this readathon and I know this has representation for anxiety and depression and suicide as well I believe because this deals with suicide packs which is something I've never read about before I know or have heard of a couple of books that talk about this topic and include this topic but I've never read them so I'm really interested to see what I think and I think this is going to be one of the more intense and kind of hard hitting novels on my TBR like obviously all books that deal with mental health are going to be like deep and hard hitting to different degrees like but like Am I Normal Yet yeah, has a bit more humour, I don't know, I've never read a book by this author before, I think this is her debut so I don't actually know if there's going to be any humour in this but I feel like just because of the subject matter um, of it dealing with suicide packs which is something that I've never personally read about before I feel like it's going to be a lot kind of deeper and a lot maybe slightly harder to read but I'm looking forward to seeing what I think and I'm hoping I'm going to enjoy it because I read maybe the first page or two before I bought this book in the shop and I enjoyed what I read so far so I'm really looking forward to reading it and seeing what I think so I think I'm going to read the first chapter of this before I go to bed and then continue with it over the weekend and see how I go. <laughs> now Saturday evening and I'm going to wrap this vlog up here because I'm going to do what I attempted to do for Vlogmas but didn't really end up doing which is finish each weekly vlog on Saturday and then I can finish editing it and try and hopefully get it up for Sunday so 
and also so I have a little bit of like a mental health break and like just a chill break from not filming like have one day a week where I'm not filming which would be really nice so I will give you guys like a wrap up of my reading and I started All the Things We Never Said by Yasmin Rahum this morning I have barely read all day apart from this morning or haven't read at all today apart from this morning because I have basically been drawing as you guys probably will have seen in a previous clip I just I'm on a re uh, drawing binge at the moment and I'm not mad about it, it's actually quite therapeutic. But I got to chapter 7 which is page 41 and this, I feel like this will be quite a quick read in the fact that the writing style is just, you know, it's very easy to read, it's a very quick writing style to read if that makes any sense at all. But I feel like this is going to be an extremely hard read. It's been quite heavy already. Obviously all mental health books are kind of quite heavy and deep to a certain extent, but I feel this so far is definitely probably going to be the like deepest book that's related to mental health that I've ever read. But I'm just going to give you guys a warning. If you are going to pick this book up, there is self-harm in here from the first chapter and suicidal thoughts so just be aware of that before going into this book because I didn't know about it personally it doesn't trigger me but if you if something that might trigger you then just be aware of that but I feel like I am liking it so far uh, it's just quite obviously intense as a book like this you would suspect it to be um, but I'm enjoying it and getting to know the characters and I am enjoy it it's a different format as well this book like of oh, there's three main perspectives and one of the main perspectives she's called Olivia hers is different it's not in prose like everybody else I don't know how well you can see that but it's just kind of in kind of in verse I guess um I don't quite understand why her sections of the book are like that um I feel like they are quite effective in the fact uh, that it is telling her story but I don't quite understand why it is but you know, there you go and then um, our, one of our other main characters she just has like you can see the format's different so it has like her like inner dialogue like in there and then the third person it's just like normal prose um, that you would get in a general book but I think I am liking it so far um, but like I said I think it's going to be quite a hard read even though it has the potential to be a quick read because of the writing style but I'm going to see what happens and hopefully I will be able to finish this in about a week. Obviously look after my mental health whilst I'm reading this because I think it's, like I said, it's going to be quite a very deep and heavy book. But I'm still looking forward to reading it as I've been wanting to read it ever since I bought it back in January. So that's, there we go. So I'm looking forward to carrying on with this and hopefully I will have read it a bit more of it or definitely will have read a bit more of it. Uh, by next week's vlog and obviously I finished Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne which completes the first challenge that I have completed which is to read the oldest mental health book on your TBR and I really enjoyed that book as well still haven't made any more progress on my audio book which is Am I Crazy and I think like I said previously I might try my other audio book um, which is A Tragic Kind of Wonderful and see what I think I hope you guys enjoyed the first week of this weekly reading vlog. I feel like it's going to be a little bit longer just because that weekend, the previous weekend was included in this and I feel like it's not been my best vlog. You know when you have certain vlogs that you really enjoy making and when you're filming them you think they're great? I don't think this one is personally the best but I'm gonna, we'll see what happens with the next vlogs. We've got three more to go so yeah. I hope you guys still enjoy this anyway and if you are taking part in Mental health -a -thon, I hope you are doing well and reading some really good books and also looking after your own mental health at the same time that goes for everybody who is watching this video so yeah if you like this video then please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more bookish videos from me then make sure you hit that subscribe button and little bell icon so you'll be noted every time I post a new video as always I will leave links to my social media along with the links to my goodreads in the description down below for you guys but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!